Hi, and welcome to The W. I'm Matt Labriola. I'm here interviewing Westlake's very own star goaltender, Thomas Oliveros Brown. So, I'm Thomas, happy. it's good to have you. Pleasure to be here. So, I just have a couple of questions for Thomas. If you just want to give a little background of your, a little bit of background of your life. Um, just very big on hockey always. It was a big passion and dream of mine. I always dreamt of, dreamed of playing college hockey. I'm mm -hmm. still trying to follow that path. I'm trying to end mm -hmm. up playing college hockey. Awesome. So I guess I guess my first question for you would be, how does it feel being like, besides me, how does it feel being like one of Westlake's only hockey players? You know, I mean, I don't think a lot of people understand like what we have to do, especially playing at like high level, level, right? Yeah, that's yeah. correct. You know, like you see um, athletes at Westlake do their own things, have their own practices, schedules. But that's all in town. Like with me, like last year, I was traveling an hour and 20 minutes just to just for practice, right? Practice, for workout. workout. Yeah. Nothing compares to what we have to go through. So I guess my first <laughs> real official question is what is the USPHL? And how far can it take you? Yeah, so I think like you know yourself a lot about it, but um, it's, it's a very good league to play in at a young, especially at a young age for development and it really the coaches for all the teams in the league really push you to your hardest and try to get you get you they base it mostly on like development it's not so much it's like growth improvement yeah right? you want to see your players develop rather than like stay just, the same level yeah exactly everybody's trying to move on that good question if you don't mind um, what is your practice schedule like? If you could just tell me a little bit, like the time, how often do you practice, how hard is it, and yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So last year we do Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday workout at like seven to eight, and then we'd have some downtime, and then we would uh, hop on the ice for nine fifteen practice, and we'd do that, and I'd get home at like almost midnight every night. It was tough, but it was all worth it, worth right? It. Other yeah. question is, is like. Since, you know, people that do Westlake sports, they don't really travel. So basically, how far do you travel? Um, so we were playing in the USPHL like yourself. You also played in that league for the Hitmen. But we uh, we play teams. We One of the teams in our league last year played in Virginia and Potomac. And we we go. That was like a six-hour bus trip there. Uh, we also went to Chicago. Can't forget about Chicago. Yes. My team in Chicago last year. Um the CCM World Invite, very big tournament. Mm -hmm. um, also, my team, I don't play for them anymore, but this year they were supposed to go to Calgary, Alberta. Canada? Yes. Just a couple final questions to summarize everything up. It's yeah. been a pleasure having you. I'm very I'm happy much, to so. be here. Um, for the USPHL, and with all the effort that you're putting in, there's always the chance that you, know, you don't go anywhere. There's a chance that something happens, you get injured, you don't have a good season, you you fail, whatever, you don't go D1, like you've done nothing happens. What do you look to get out of it? And what is the risk versus the high risk reward? You know, yeah, and I love that you asked that question actually because I look to continue with the USPHL path um, for a couple of years until I get a commitment. But yeah, definitely there's always that risk that you don't get a commitment out of it. But it, if it's what you want, you know, you got to push, make every effort to make it happen. And I believe that it'll happen. And um, Got a bright mindset, right? Life's a dream. Yep. Make it happen. Yeah. Anything you want to say just to them? Just leave them with something, you know, to think about? You know, definitely. I think um, you always hear this, but I think trust the process is definitely a huge. Uh-huh. Because you do, you miss 100% of the shots you do not take. That's exactly right. I think you nailed it there. Thank you. Appreciate it. So that's my message to the W. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this has been Thomas Brown. I've been Matt Labriola. I want to thank you so much for taking the time thank out of your busy me. schedule and coming for this interview. We've learned a lot about you and we learned a lot about hockey. And I guess we'll be signing off. Say goodbye. Peace out. And we'll see you in the next one.